Hi everyone, welcome. So in this read, we're going to just check and see what's going on in your current love situation, your relationship, connection. We're going to check on feelings, thoughts, and stuff like that. So let's see what messages come up for you. What's going on in this connection? This one, two cards. Okay. Okay. This is... Wow. All right. So we have, I believe we have a new moon coming up in Virgo. So this is crazy because you got two Virgo cards here, new moon and full moon. I know that this full moon um, tonight, on the, I think it's tonight, the 11th or the 13th. It's either the 11th or the 13th. Two people said two different things, so I'm going to have to check for myself, but it's coming up and... This card says a, a time to give rather than take. And then the full moon in Virgo says you are good enough. So I do feel like you may be receiving more in this connection. Some of you may have been giving a lot. I don't feel like it's your partner who's been giving. It's not just because you're the viewer. It's because I it's because of the you are good enough card. So this gives me the feeling that you've been giving and giving, whether you could be a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart or dealing with a Virgo, but whatever your sign is, you've been giving. And it could have been because you may have felt like that may have added value to you, you know, trying to give and trying to be a valuable asset in a person's life by giving and taking care of them. But you're going to be realizing that you don't have to do that much, <laughs> that you are good enough. And you may find that your person starts to give um, more. I'm hearing receiving mode. You're going to be getting into a receiving mode in this connection soon because you've been giving like you're going to start receiving. That's the thing here. So let's take a look at the energies between you two. What's going on in this connection? Are the current energies here? All right. Someone you're dealing with even if you're in separation, they're going to be coming towards you quite quickly with this Knight of Swords. We have the Magician. They have some kind of plan. I do feel like they plan to start putting in effort. They may start to notice that maybe you're pulling away or you're not giving as much or that it's, it's time for them to start giving back. There's something, there's some kind of shift happening with this person. Some of you are fed up of doing the most in this connection. Your person is going to realize that it's time for them to start stepping up. I don't even feel like you'll need to tell them. They'll just kind of pick up on it because they'll see a shift in your energy that you're kind of fed up with giving. They're going to notice. They're gonna know. They're gonna know that it's time for them to to um to step up. They're gonna know that in order to restore this balance or maintain this balance, it's up to them now because they're gonna start seeing all the things that you've done and realizing, okay, it may be a bit unfair. Maybe I should start doing this, this, and that for Virgo. Why do I feel like I'm doing a Virgo read? <laughs> It's that Virgo energy up there. So especially if you're a Virgo, this is probably definitely for you. But they feel like they need to start stepping up, even if you are dealing, if it, even if they are the Virgo or have it in their chart. But we also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra and Taurus. 
and air energy. This is their next move, King of Cups. And the Four of Wands in reverse. This person knows, they know, they're picking up on what's going on. They're gonna step up. Near future energy. Healing. Some of you may be going, I really get this sense of you going out, being taken out, people seeing you together. There's going to be a lot of opportunities for you. Some of you may feel like their behavior is too good to be true <laughs> with this Seven of Cups. But I really feel like it's them recognizing that they haven't been doing as much as you've been doing. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. They're picking up on, on the fact that you may be disappointed in something to do with this connection. Let's see what we have here. What is going on for the collective and their connection? Crossroads. New love. Romantic feelings. Party. I do feel like you'll be going out. You'll be going out more and hmm. Either some of you have more than one option. Or this could be some of you could be single and meeting this new love. From being in a receptive mode, attracting new love, or it could be new love with the person you already know. But this is good. This just opened the story up. <laughs> Let me look at your main thread, see what's going on here. Okay, what is going on in this love connection? For the collective viewer, what is going on in this connection? Aquarius energy, Taurus, Capricorn. There's a lot of love here, a lot of love. But you got this Six of Pentacles in reverse. This kind of connects with the whole thing where you're, you're, you're pulling back when it comes to the effort that you put in. You feel like you've been putting in too much, not getting the same amount in return. So a lot of you are going to be going within. I see you kind of going within to free yourself. It's this energy of you giving too much. You are going to be guided by the universe, your higher self, to look at your worth. It's kind of, I'm hearing like you're being forced to see that you deserve to get stuff too. You deserve someone putting effort into you. You know, like realizing that it shouldn't be all you doing all the work in a connection. There's two people in the connection. Um, yeah, like you're gonna feel, you could probably already feel drained emotionally, <clears throat> feeling stuck. It could be some of you are dealing with someone who works really hard. It could be a business person. You see them as a king of pentacles. They could be more focused on business and work than the love connection, kind of abandoning the love connection. But like I said, they're going to pick up on what's going on here. And I see them making an effort to fix the situation, to do their part. They're seeing you as a devil in reverse. So they're seeing you as like kind of detaching from them, moving away from them. 
this is why they're going to pick up they're going to notice your behavior has changed some of you could have kids together or be married but there's definitely love in, there's definitely love here with the king of cups the queen of pentacles is the outcome i do feel like your stability your security is going to be restored you're going to be feeling better when this person steps up when you realize that you are not the one who's supposed to be doing all the work why are the page of cups in reverse yeah they're gonna start feeling emotional because they feel left out they feel like you're not doing as much as you used to like I said, this is why they're going to realize. They're going to pick up on what's going on. Why this? Why the devil in reverse? Yeah, look at that. Hangman in reverse again. This is knowing that it's, it's their turn. They're seeing you as putting your guard up, being kind of in your feelings. They're seeing a shift in your energy. I feel like I'm just repeating myself at this point. Why the Queen of Pentacles is the outcome? Slowly, like you'll slowly start getting there. I see you being really self-focused. Really self-focused here. What do we have here for the collective and their connection? Growth. Follow your heart. Separation and boundaries. So you are putting up this wall, this boundary where it's like, okay, I am not doing anything more until I get equal amounts what's going on here meeting the family incoming communication so maybe you're going to stop initiating communication with them they're going to notice that you're not texting them anymore you're not the first one to text anymore some of you may end up meeting their family if you're not married already or committed karmic lesson they have out with the old and with the new so you're definitely making a shift some of you are going to be focusing on yourself maybe even a body transformation or just energetically shifting shift into this queen of pentacles because you may have been feeling insecure or like things are not going things are not moving forward there's no growth and so you start to look within for the answers to those questions you do get answers and you start moving forward what's going on with this connection okay obstacle so we have wallflower some of you are just going to be feeling bored with the situation that probably is what pushes you to make a change we have twin flames and we have communication again so something you do is going to cause them remember earlier the night of swords i feel like when you do pull back and you start focusing on you that's when they rush in with communication they're going to notice a difference they're going to notice that something's up they're not hearing from you as much you know we have it's time to release negativity, Scorpio energy. A lot of you are doing this whole release, this whole shift in your energy, freeing yourself from the Eight of Swords. You're definitely doing what you need to do for you. It will cause a shift. It will, it will get you the results that you want. That's what I feel. So we do have Capricorn energy, Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah. So I hope this was helpful. 
you will see a difference in this connection for sure so feel free to check out my other readings on the channel subscribe if you're new like if you enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one